We met this amazing woman who commutes to work all year round on a turn electric cargo bike. So what is an e-cargo bike, you ask? Let's find out. This is the turn GSD, which I call the carb replacement. The turn GSD can carry up to 440 pounds of you and your stuff. So if you're a working parent and you want to take your kids to school, all you have to do is put a couple child seats in the back and they could come along for the ride. This is my bike. This is my car replacement. I use it for everything. Grocery stores, work, and many other things that one tends to drive to. And by the end of the day, these panniers are just stuffed to the brim. The front basket is stuffed to the brim, but yet the bike is still really fun to ride. So the GSD stands for get stuff done. And that is something that you can do with this bike. You can pretty much get anything you want done. It is a utility bike. I mean, you can definitely go on joy rides with this, but it, its main purpose is to be used as a mode of transportation. And it's, it's like the truck of the bike world. Give us some good reasons why we should buy an e-cargo bike. It's very easy to handle, especially for a cargo bike. I have saved so much money riding this bike so I don't have to pay for gas. If it's a very tight space, then all you have to do this. Whoa, Wonder Woman there. <laughs> Takes a little bit of practice. You could store this in your apartment like this. It takes about the same amount of space as a plant. How easy is it to charge? They're very easy to charge. Uh, you get a charger that looks very similar to a laptop charger. And you can plug it right into the bike or you can remove the battery. You just unlock the battery and then you just charge it to the wall. About six hours to fully charge a battery. How long will the battery last while riding the e-bike? It depends on the conditions you're riding in, uh, how much assistance you're using. So if you're using Eco or Tour, which is a lower assist mode, then your battery is going to last longer. If, in your, if you're in turbo mode all the time, then your battery life is not going to last as long. It also depends on how much you're carrying, um, varying factors. Are there cons to owning a bike like this? You know, it is a beast of a bike to ride. It is a 75 pound plus bike. So if I'm not doing assist, it's somewhere really flat or somewhere downhill. You can ride uphill without assist. It is quite a workout. Even without the assist, it really does feel for the most part like a normal bike. How does one secure this e-bike? The reason why it does the beep beep is because it's got something called e-bike lock. When I take this head unit off, the whole system's disabled. Oh. So then it just becomes a really heavy non-electric bike. Nobody can ride as an e-bike. They're just gonna ride a 100 pound bike. And so that means when I go to the grocery store, not only can I lock up my bike, but I could also take the head unit inside the store with me and nobody can ride it. So that, in addition to the frame lock, in addition to being able to use this lock, plug it right in, and lock it to a bike rack, I feel very secure that my bike is safe. So the Turn GSD started about five grand. So it's definitely an investment. It is very popular for people who want to replace their car with this. Cheaper than a car. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. It makes me feel really good to ride this bike because I know I'm doing a lot for the environment by keeping my carbon footprint as low as possible by not driving every day. Hey, what are you doing now? So now I've got some clothes and shoes to drop off at the local thrift store. <laughs> uh, that was yeah. great.